that's me. Hi. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I hope you're doing extremely well. Um, another episode of The Tale of Two Wizards, your friendly neighborhood wizards here at your service. Uh, we're just going to have a friendly and unscripted random discussion with a focus on um, protection. And then maybe we'll go into the chakra system. Seems they're all related to each other really nicely. Uh, so welcome. I hope you enjoy our conversation. May it be um, beneficial to you. Uh, thank you in advance for your time. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. We, we, had, we had a slight problem with IT, but we, we get attacked by IT. Oh, that's life. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Every time, including when I've got clients coming from different parts of the world, when there's something amazing about to go down, interference starts happening as mm. if by magic. So, so it seems mm, electronics, communication are susceptible also to spiritual warfare. Definitely. A lot of what we're exposed to nowadays comes through um, digital uh, mediums of um, telecoms. Um, we have the radio channels. We have uh, copper wire. Uh, we've got fiber optics. Uh, and so it seems that these also allow uh, conscious entities to travel through them. Mm. And of course, I, we I, I, I was going to say, I, I look at the American voting, you know, the American, and I like to go on Trump sometimes. And if I'm on TikTok on Trump, after a few seconds, it just kicks off for no reason. Any other program is fine. Any other thing. But if I ever go on that, after 30 seconds, it goes. Uh, obviously, it's getting infiltrated there by some some beings or some yeah, and it wow. can be so, quite, quite annoying. Like today, as I was saying to Amir, my Zoom went on a avatar of a twelve-year-old uh, Asian kid, and it said the avatar didn't work, so it was stuck on that. I couldn't do anything else. I had to basically wipe out my old program and start again. That's it shouldn't happen. It's just weird. But it's, I think it is because we we're, we're doing some important subjects today. I really I believe so. I absolutely yeah. agree with you. So it's common to have um electronic interference. Okay, I wanted to sneeze, it didn't happen. Good. Um <laughs> we may have sneeze interference, but um how to be aware of something going down. I think awareness is really the key because once you realize something is not uh, the way it should be, then you can take steps in order to fix it or take action to uh, protect yourself. So towards this, I always like to uh, go back to um, a calibrated baseline. Um, many times uh, the interference isn't just with devices. That's just it's point of entry. Uh, the interference is intended to uh, affect your thought process or your energy, your vital life force. Uh, so in order to be aware, first and foremost, that something is going wrong, you have to know what your baseline is. The really uh, useful approach towards this is going into nature, uh, leaving all devices behind, setting some time aside where you're not going to be um, basically worrying about um, tasks that are undone or people expecting you to show up or do something. A few hours, two hours, three hours, if you can, whatever is available to you. Go into nature, uh, find a tree that calls to you or somewhere with flowing water. You'll know the spot once you reach yeah. it. Uh, take, take, take your shoes. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say take your shoes off. You just can yeah. take, telepathy. <laughs> take your shoes and socks off. Actually yeah. connect to the planet. And then sit. It'll take a little while, maybe 15, 20 minutes, for the matrix to disengage with you. Mm. And you'll notice this one glorious moment. You'll start hearing the birds sing. Oh, my goodness. These guys were here all along. And yet there's so much going on that you don't mm. notice. You hear the sound of the breeze going through the leaves. 
you hear the water flowing. That's nature inviting you back in. I, so I, have... I think that's a, a good, way, good way of saying it, because if something breaks on you or something don't work, what vibration does that turn you into? It changes you. It lowers you. And it's normally a deliberate attack, basically, to get you into that low vibration. So, yeah, definitely Absolutely. nature. Yeah. Absolutely. Same thing happens in traffic. So it's not just traffic of data, but traffic of vehicles. If you're stuck in traffic and it's a warm day, very humid, so the climate isn't quite good and you don't have an air con, look around at people. You'll see this energy of frustration. And so after this period of frustration, you're going to be exhausted. Mm. Where did the energy go? Oh, yeah, you just got harvested. Um, so once you notice the baseline, anything that takes you away from this point of balance, that's an indication of an attack or interference or an attempt at an attack or interference. Awareness is key. So then you may use many, many different methods to basically neutralize this. At the beginning of every show uh, or any work I do with um, esteemed clients, I use Palo Santo or Sage. Mm. Um, I, I, I've actually got that Palo Santo because that, that, that's better than Sage, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's right. better than sm just smudging. Yeah. Uh, I understand that smudge is like bleach. It yeah. gets rid of everything. Palo Santo mm. gets rid of the negative energy and keeps the uh, good stuff. How does it do that? Or do you know? I don't know. <laughs> um, it is the spirit of the plant. So there's mm. an alchemical process with fire uh, turning solid into gas and energy. And so it becomes a mechanism of transferring information. Mm. Uh, this can also be used ritualistically when a person writes down a prayer or an intention and then burns it. This is uh, giving my, my guy just said it, it, it traps it. It pulls it out of the air and, and envel envelopes it. It transmutes it in a way. It does. Yeah. yeah. Also, if you really want to do a deep cleanse of the home, you leave one window open. Certain things may wish to escape. Mm. Uh, so anything trapped in will be transmuted with that um, energy. It's the gift of the plant. Mm. So same applies to smoking. In the earliest cultures that use tobacco, they'd smoke it in a pipe in an enclosed tent. And the breathing out of the smoke, although it's not the healthiest thing, they wouldn't do it excessively. That smoke, when they breathe it out, combined with the energy of the breath or the prana, it would be powerfully cleansing. So they could sit down, negotiate for a peace treaty instead of shedding each other's blood, uh, resorting mm. to violence. Uh, I wish that was used nowadays. The world could certainly use a good peace pipe. Um, but... Um, so, yes, a smudge, it's just um, a fail-safe, you know, it's a, a guaranteed way to deal with most negative energies, even the most intense ones. Um, what else? Oh, crystals. Well, uh, right now I'm sitting here uh, with over 250 crystals on my body. <laughs> Every single individual crystal has received... Uh, an immense amount of meditation and prayer and they have become an uh, objects of power through repetition so these also they uh, they create a protective bubble around you especially mm. if you're really sensitive if you're an empath or a super empath this takes the sharp edge off so smudging crystals i've got one she like to say mine <laughs> we, we we are connected to source through our chakra system. Our chakra system goes all the way to source. It's we haven't got we haven't got seven uh, chakras. We haven't even got thirty. We've got hundreds all the way to source. And if we can bring energy from the higher vibrations using the pillars, if we bring it down, then even if we get an attack, it'll just blow it away. It'll just it just singe it away. They'll run, to be honest. They won't be able to handle vibrations of that eye. The only problem is 
if you're a beginner, you can only go to certain dimensions. So each dimension owns so so many chakras. So you can only go so high. So over the over the meditation, over the years, you learn to get all the way up to source. I, five years ago, I could probably get to six or seven D. Now I can go all the way if I really want to. Yeah, agreed, yeah. agreed, yeah. absolutely. Um, so connection to source is the end goal, end result of your mm. spiritual process. Once you're tapped back in, that's it. You're good. No, no, uh, no, no. I've still got stuff to do here. <laughs> that's, for, that's, for the, uh, that's for the evolution of the soul. Yeah. And there is no upper limit for evolution. Mm. Of course, we come here to take advantage of uh, the unusually harsh conditions of earth to learn and become even greater. Mm -hmm. But as far as it goes for the human and the consciousness of the mind and body, uh, tapping back to source, back into that beloved source of all things, that really sets you off on your journey and mm -hmm. gives you the most important thing, independence. Yeah. Um, so I've come across an approach um, a system called the Kujikiri. I, I, I'm a great fan of it. So it's based on repetition of mantras. Um, you focus on the energies inside the body and nine most important ones. And through repetition, uh, center by center, uh, you heal um, the chakra, mm -hmm. you clear it. And well, why, you... Why, why do they say the mantra do it 108 times? I've always heard that 108 do do the mantra 108 times. I know it's to do with the chakra system, but it always comes up that 108 number. It's, yeah. So it seems to be repetition of uh, numbers of power. It's nine times 12. Hmm. So multiples of the number three, the Holy Trinity, divine masculine, divine feminine, and divine spirit, hmm. uh, all towards balance. Uh, plus, um, you do for each center 108 full mala rounds. So that's 108 times 108. Uh, so the, there's a purpose in repetition. Mm -hmm. uh, first, you, first, you learn the meaning of the mantra, which goes into the conscious level. In order for it to break through the barriers, reach the subconscious, unconscious and energetic levels, repetition works. Uh, so like water through um, dry desert uh, soil, it takes a long time for it to seep in, so to speak. Mm. And then um, for whatever it's worth, you're working with your energy at this moment in time. You might be at a diminished state, but still you're repeating your free will. It, it's, it's a bit like driving a car. You can't drive, even when you learn, you're still learning. And eventually, at the end, you just do it automatically. Or you know, you know what you need to do. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. The repetition. So the one hundred and eight. Some cultures still use the the rosary beads, but it's ninety nine. Yeah. Again, nine times eleven. So I heard that as well. <laughs> yeah. So these yeah. seem to be multiples of three. In mm. my humble understanding, it's the it's the Holy Trinity. Uh, many religions turn it into uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's a complete sausage party. Where where goes the divine feminine, I ask you? So it's all about balance, really. Masculine and feminine in its sacred form, and then pulling in divine spirit. Um, it, it's strange how the, the feminine, on all my aspects, the highest I go, they tend to be all feminine. <laughs> we're, we're in the low part. It's quite There's strange. So much, that. so much said about uh, toxic masculinity. Mm. Uh, but I think uh, both uh, genders or both polarities have been sub subjected to uh, tremendous interference and mm. trauma, collective trauma. So both masculine and feminine require healing. Uh, so another thing in these um, repetitions is finding balance once again. Um, so you, you leave no stone unturned. Each of us may inherit different types of um, problems from our bloodline, genetic uh, problems in the body, which can be fixed. 
um, karmic and let's say magical problems in the bloodline, these can also be fixed. So each of us has an absolute unique combination of these. Uh, so that repetition, it makes sure uh, that you leave no stone unturned. It seems to work, but the, the problem is it's a, it's a lengthy process. Uh, you can't um, just say a mantra and do a mudra and there you go. No, 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 it has no energy. It's not going to really do anything for you. Uh, so there seems to be an, a requirement in your effort and will an energy through the repetition and then you've really got the oomph or the horsepower to do some major clearing and healing mm, definitely yeah said that well so chakras um so there are many of them many dimensions and uh, many different ways of looking at them um so I, I, um, I think most people look at the seven don't they they look at the seven but they don't understand these minor ones that operate without the minor. We won't be we won't be operating because they they operate. And then after the minor, these micro ones, and that these are all run by the by the prana energy field, and that's 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 the is it the nadi system? Yeah, the nadi yeah. system. The nadi system is the energy of your life force or chi energy or prana. Or panic it depends. It depends on which country you talk about. Uh, they flow the energy through your chakra system. And what is amazing is people think an, an injury, a knee injury, example, knee injury or shoulder injury. You heal the knee or you heal the shoulder. No, you heal the uh, minor chakras around it. And if you can get them spinning, now some people think chakras are cone. No. Some people think the flower, no. They're like round balls of energy. I know that. I'm 100% on that. So I do read other people's and I think, nah, nah. And they, they are like a vortex energy field and around it is all these minor ones and it's all balanced. And it, as soon as one goes out of balance, if you injure your knee, you're, you're out of balance with all the others and you just got to repair them. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Um, if this is supported by... A, sub a substantial body of evidence. Mm. Um, and so blockages uh, in these um, important vortices of energy uh, mm. and the resulting illness in the physical body have been recognized. Almost every but, single culture. Yeah, some people say that it's not blocked. And we know it's not blocked. It's a blockage. So it's running part. It's like your car needs... Uh, needs a service that's what it is your body needs a service yeah. and so then there are approaches to uh, remove the blockage or obstacle to get the healthy flow of the life force going so yeah. we've got um of course breathing exercises that's to just keep yourself healthy and strong to begin with yeah but then when there's local injuries to the energetic scaffolding of the vessel uh, you have um different types of massage acupuncture acupressure um, vacuum cups or suction cups uh, they seem to stimulate the release of the blockage very very effectively and so these are methodologies that are they've made it their uh, made they've made their way into the western culture and they're used um, quite effectively so let's go to another important uh, and hot topic, energy harvesting through the chakras. Mm -hmm. So this seems to be, unfortunately, it seems to be very widespread. So, for example, the harvesting of the energy associated with the root is, is just um, covers almost 80, 85 percent of humanity. Mm. The harvesting of the root energy, the kundalini, uh, your life force, uh, sexual energy. And yeah, so the, these... the, the, this is at the root. Uh, this is at the uh, tailbone, isn't it? Uh, and we, hardly anybody ever opens this one. It's stuck there. It's like in a seed format. It's never actually used. Yet when I have used, I've opened people's kundalini healing, and all of a sudden they start shaking. <laughs> 
<laughs> and what that is, that's the snake of energy coming through the spine, and it's actually getting rid of, it's good if you ever heal someone, because it's getting rid of their karmic, energies and their trauma energies out of every cell so that's why people jerk and everything and it's it's rare i've not seen many but i have seen it and I'm, you start thinking is that me what what do we do and you just let the kundalini do its job basically yeah absolutely and yeah. so mm, it's very um powerful very potent the purpose of harvesting of course is a drug trade this is then turned into a narcotic um, that fuels a universal drug empire. Mm. Many, many species, non-human species, interfere with humanity for this very purpose. And it's one of the reasons the world is in such a mess. The money is too good. Although the forms of currency and transaction are different, but the same principles apply. Now, if a person is harvested every 10 days to two weeks, that seems to be the average interval, they will never uh, achieve that kundalini awakening mm. where this energy spirals up the central column, goes all the way up through the crown even. Now, this is represented in many forms, say the cobra in the Egyptian culture on the crown. Uh, representing of a rise in consciousness, but also the serpent symbology. Um, it seems to overlay in many cultures. Uh, so this kundalini energy rising is the physical body or the denser aspects of the entire vessel uh, doing a quality and health check, going through everything. Once it reaches the crown, it's telling the infinite soul everything is good. Quality control achieved, we are ready for more light to come in. Uh, so it's an interesting, interesting practice. Mm, one of the methods that can be used for this is um, the, the, um, the Sat Kriya, a modality of yoga uh, focusing on the abdominal muscles. Um, with breathing and contracting of these abdominal muscles after a period of time and practice, this is naturally achieved. And so it's important that it is natural. You mentioned the shakings in the body. It can be quite overwhelming. Uh, in some cases, uh, it may also lead to short-term psychosis even. When this much energy goes through, the nervous system overloads. You've got short circuits going on everywhere. So it's really important that this is done through a gentle meditative process. Um, so that's with the root, but mm, the removal of the, let's say, harvesting infrastructure is absolutely possible. Exactly, yeah. Hello? So I know you're, sorry, you're, getting, but... you're getting ready to share some goodies with us. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I think my, I'm getting a virus in my system. I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything. Mm, sorry. But yeah, at the end of the day, mo mostly through implants, isn't it? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Sorry. I, I don't get why I've got this. <sighs> One minute, I'm just getting rid of it. Got rid of it. Ugh. Yeah, the... Sorry, that's why I was busy there. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been one of them days. My birthday yesterday, so obviously. Yeah, the the, the biggest Yeah, the biggest yeah, fifty-nine. Don't look it, do I? Not twenty-nine, fifty-nine. Uh the biggest problem is implants. We all know, know implants. And the in, the implants change so regular. It is invisible ones. You get invisible implants, whatever next. And these are all to do with the de you can have demonic demons, you can have demonic ones, you can have archons, you have a lot of parasites. It tends to be all parasitic uh, attacks. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to find out, and ma mainly a lot of times when you're weak, yeah, when you're the weakest, they attack you. They, they get through your auric field. So the good thing is to have a good auric field, a good balance of your chakras. And I've got something actually to balance your chakras. Shall I show it you? Yes, please. Yeah, I'll have to share my screen. I'll just make sure it's up. Seeing, seeing they decided to attack me. 
again. Right, okay. I want to show you this. This is, I made this at the school. Can you see that? It's loading. There we go. So th this, you print this off. It's a chakra healing tone system, yeah? And these are your chakras. So what you do, I printed these. I had to print them in A4 sheets, so I had to print about nine. And then I sellotape them all together. And then you, you actually put it over your body. And then you put crystals that represent each chakra system. Yeah? And that... And then an healer can go over it. Now, when a healer goes over it, I've seen you do something that I do, and I thought I was the only one who did it, but no. And that is when you put your hand like this. You put your hand like this. And if you do it, when you do it healing, you can see like a like an energy vapor over here. You get that. You see like an energy vapor. And if you can actually go from, and I, what I tend to do, I go in, go in circles on each, at the top, all the way to the bottom, with intent you can even do the uh you can even do the mantra the lamb the vam the ram am am om om yeah some some people like the crown i believe is om but you get three different versions it depends how, how what you want to do basically so when you're doing it when you when you're doing the circle like that i'll, I'll go back to stop sharing so when you're doing the circle like that and you can actually see this vapor it's like an energy field, and you go in each chakra. I actually go in a figure of eight. Go one, and then another one in figure eight. I know a lot of people think it's all in one circle, but I go in a figure of eight. I also do it a different way, and I'll, let me see if I can dig this one out. This is all for my school. I was teaching children these. So here it is again. I've got another one, another juicy one. And what you can do... You can actually start, start at the, start there and just go in in circles. Yeah, like that, and then you can go back again. Mm -hmm. And these are all tuning your chakras because, at the end of the day, you, that's one thing you need to do. You need to tune your chakras, which I've probably gone ahead of myself. Uh, stop screen sharing. One sec. Are we back again? Oh, all right. We're back again. There we go. Yes. Yeah. So tuning your chakras is ideal because by tuning your chakras, you are getting rid of a lot of the attacks in them chakras. But obviously what me and you do, we tend to like to get rid of the implants. Implants are the worst. Parasites tend to be, many of them tend to be just uh, wandering uh wandering beings that you don't see wandering, wandering little creatures that you don't see that are invisible then attack because they want they want to eat our, our energy field and they tend to make the pain in the bone you know if you've got a bad knee and you don't and your field is broken for a day and some parasite ends up going in there and then you fix it or you can heal it after the parasite will start feeding on that it tends to live elsewhere in the body through the nervous system but then it comes back and then it feeds again and you wonder why you've got a 25 year pain and it's because you've had a 25 year parasite it's just been getting very big and very greedy at creating the pain because the pain is what it's feeding on yep is that any answers to your question or did they diversify it, it, all, it all lines up perfectly in way of mm. confirmation so um i think you've um mentioned something very important um let's say implants or parasites yeah. uh, essentially mechanisms of pulling energy life force out yeah. of the living vessel uh, so um there seems to be a more systematic approach at one side and then as you mentioned random um sentient or non-sentient parasites like in nature, you go into swampy waters and you're going to pick up leeches. Or you mm. go into a damp rainforest, there are going to be mosquitoes. They're less severe, although out of control, they will cause immense harm. But then the systematic extraction of energy, they depend pretty much on uh, technology. Uh, so um, there are many methods of purging these out of the system and regaining balance 
And then once you are clear, it's important to uh, routinely maintain your strength and balance. So um, uh, this energetic uh, cleanliness requires a routine, the same way you would uh, shower, brush your teeth, wash your clothes, wash and change bedding, vacuum clean your home and so on. You would smudge the space, but then it's important to also focus on the energetic structure. Uh, so sound, you mentioned the sound of the mantras. Um, I don't know if you've ever come across the solfeggio frequencies. No, I'm interested though. <laughs> I've, um, this is now, by the way, something our esteemed audience can find on YouTube. Um, different uh, tones um, for each one of the chakras. Um, I have tried them and I can say they're effective. So there's, um, for example, an eight or nine hour long track, completely free of charge. When you're going to sleep, you turn it on at low or medium volume. Um, it um, seems to work through the acoustics on the energy of the chakra. Uh, at certain points, if you have an injury, let's say in the solar plexus, uh, you feel it working to such a degree that it wakes you up. You feel it's breaking stuff up in the energy center. Very effective. Um, and so uh, that's one approach, the solfeggio uh, frequency. Yeah, I, I've got sound forks as well, which are, are, are programmed for the chakras, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I should have brought them today, but I forgot. So. <laughs> um, and something else that is... Um, um, now, going back into the most effective holistic healing modality of all, shamanic practices, they use sound also, uh, but through drums and through rattles. Yeah. And so these are, I use a whole range of them in my work, different trees, different energies. So, for example, a sequoia rattle, this will break things up very nicely. And it's not limited to one chakra either. Um, then using uh, absorbent material like obsidian. Um, highly, highly absorbent, extremely protective. So if anybody thinks that their vessel requires cleansing, uh, using black crystals, obsidian, shungite, uh, neumite, um, let's say, um, also magnetic hematite. Um, many, many black crystals, all of them seem to have the same type of effect of cleansing. And then, of course, you cleanse the crystal. What's that one? I've seen this this bad boy before. What crystal yeah, is it? I think it's shungite. Shungite, you got it. These are yeah. incredibly, incredibly useful. These are special with the gaps. It's like it's like a frequency, I believe, but I'm not 100 percent how that works. The the the, the geometry <laughs> ratios. Yeah. Oh yes. So use of sound and use of cleansing crystals. This is going to result in cleansing. Uh, if associated with um, breath work or energy work, even better. Uh, so it's something we all can do. Uh, you will absolutely absolutely recognize the liberation after you have um, purged these implants or parasites and you're going to feel an increase in your life force more energy better sleep clearer mind a better memory and so on so all these things lack of energy local pains uh, forgetfulness problems with your sleep with your appetite these are all indications perhaps your energy is being messed with I tell you, I, one of the ways I do it, which is, I don't think everyone can do it like this, but I've done this as a young. I like to see where they come, where, where the energy is going to. I like to see its destination. And how I do it, I bring it, I've got, a team, I've got like an healing team, but I've also got a warrior team in spirit. And these are is quite a few dragons in there. There's a lot of me old aspects, uh, me Atlantean Hermes, uh, all warriors, all ready to fight. And I go in and we go into this implant. Now, we really do not know where we're going. And we've been to some amazing places and it ends up being one big battleground. <laughs> but luckily, this uh, 
demigod that's one of the aspects can wipe a lot of them out. And it, sometimes it looks like Star Wars. It actually looks like, it looks like, you know, big creature things with four legs. At mass, it, it's just like Star Wars. And this could be Orion. A lot of times I end up Orion. Uh, I've ended up on I've ended up on quite a different, a lot of places. Sometimes I don't even know where I am. And sometimes mm. the portal might get closed and I've got to try and find my way back, which can be a problem. <laughs> but oh, when we... When we've destroyed all the uh, tech, that's what we're doing. We're destroying the tech more than anything. We're not bothered about the beings that just destroy the tech, then they're, they're not going to be able to use the tech on others. So when we come back, we've got a portal there. We've got to do something. And I created a little being uh, many years ago. Uh, it was supposed to be a squirrel, but it ended up being, it ended, it was a little squirrel being. I used angelic light, I manifested it, and this being was to eat dark energy and implants because we were getting too many implants. And when I spoke to it, it was like a chipmunk, you know, from the film. And what I've been told since is an I-dimensional being from about 12D, something like that. And he speaks normal, but to us, he's speaking dead fast. <laughs> and he... Is the one who eats all this dense en en energy and the, oh, the implants and he transmutes it to good energy. Uh, mm. I don't know if many could do that. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's reserved, let's just say, for the few. Yeah. Now, the beauty of this approach is uh, through healing one individual that is afflicted, well, you're mm. tracing it all the way to where it comes from. Uh, implants sometimes are mass produced. You can even detect something resembling a serial number. Mm. So going back where they're coming from, uh, taking care of the infrastructure or the technology. It, or it's the, like a, it, it can be a city. It can be as big as a, like a city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, sometimes they're quote unquote biological. Uh, there's a mother or a queen laying all these billions and trillions of eggs that are these little parasites. That also does occur, usually not native to our universe. Mm. Um, but through taking care of this in such a holistic way, you're liberating everybody else that has been affected by this too. So this is large-scale cleansing. Mm. Very, very effective. Great act of service. And, and then, of course, because the free will of yourself and the person receiving the healing is involved, you have absolute spiritual and moral and ethical authority because they're causing harm. Mm. The best way, I suppose, would be turning the parasitic relationship into something that is symbiotic. That is complicated. I yet have, haven't had the opportunity to do this gonna, kind of thing. I was going to ask you how. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of noodling on it. Sometimes the beings are uh, misguided or there is some malfunction. But imagine we've got examples of symbiotic relationships. So many healthy bacteria in our gut, our digestive system, mm. that um, immensely benefit the health of the body. If these cultures go, we're going to lose quite a lot of energy, not be able to absorb nutrients and so on. So these are vital for us. Mm. perhaps then transmuting them into something that in, in exchange for what they take, they give something beneficial back. And yet that I haven't come across the opportunity for that. Uh, yeah. Maybe together in one of these future <laughs> you know, adventures, we could, we could try. Work that it would, out. <laughs> work it out. Yeah. It, I, I always think this is, everything is possible. And that's, that's my spiritual theme. Nothing is not possible. It's always possible. But uh, uh, some of these parasites, I think I've mentioned a few, week, few weeks ago in this, I had a three inch, well, 75 mil massive thing going in. And I thought, oh my God, that's inside me. I've got to get rid of that. And to get rid of these, if you think about fever, when we have a fever, we kill most of the parasites in us, including the spiritual ones. People don't realize. And I don't understand why kids are giving cowpokes so quickly. No, no, let them have a bit of a sweat. Let, let them sweat this out. Let them kill the parasites that's in them. And it's going to be non-physical or physical. Oh, yeah. yes. That that yeah. sweat, it's um, 
the sauna or the sweating tent. And this is, um, it's, it cleanses your body. So through sweat, you're purging toxins. Um, the dilation and contraction of the blood vessels under the skin breaks up a fat tissue. So it's good for your health. Um, but also purging of um, spiritual parasites. So going to a steam bath or sauna uh, or going into um, like a, a sweat tent. I know the Native Americans do this in their ceremonies. Absolutely effective. I hadn't thought about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, it does work. The only thing is when I did it, I, I, the temperature you need is 106. So you do it for five minutes and you know whatever's inside you is going to die. But the problem is if it's that big, you're going to be ill. You're going to be on the toilet all night. And I was. <laughs> but I starved myself. I fasted for a day thinking that out of work. Well, it didn't. I should have fasted all week, to be honest. Yeah. Back to fasting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. I think we've kind of touched on this topic before. But if um, among our esteemed audience, uh, people are um, healthy enough, so they don't have any, let's say, heart conditions or diabetes or something that requires constant uh, nutrition, it would be worthwhile to look into fasting. Um, it's um, in lab conditions. Um, it has extended the natural lifespan of small mammals like mice by a factor of three. Wow. Um, the, the, the other thing after the fasting is to have a parasite cleanse as well. As it like a parasite cleanse is so you do four days of fasting and then do the parasite cleanse because I think the parasites are ample start getting a bit docile and aren't they They're a bit thingy and, and they, they'll they haven't got the because parasites have got the intelligence on they? they're very intelligent beings you, you'd be surprised at what they can they're the ones that do voices in the head sometimes uh, and that basically says I want a bar of chocolate because I want to feed on the bar of chocolate. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, yeah paras parasite cleanses are good to clear it because I, parasites, I, must... I believe parasites clear near enough all illness. To be honest. I, I keep craving cheesecake. I must have a cheesecake <laughs> parasite. <laughs> cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecake. I wake up in the morning, cheesecake, I go to bed thinking, must be something. Well, I'll look into it. Uh, a, a month of fasting and then uh, I'll nuke the damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. That's good. Yeah. Um, so um, protection chakras. Well, mm, we touched upon some effective approaches to removing of implants, technological that are very widespread. Also natural parasites. Uh, so use of sound, uh, use of crystals, uh, fasting, um, sweating, smudge. Um, is there anything else that you can think about? And so it's really nicely coming back to the idea of cleansing. So protection, health of your chakra system, spiritual evolution, and the ultimate goal, remembering the connection to the source of all things. It seems these are standing in the way. So removal of these parasitic beings. Have we neglected any, any good advice? I've got pictures of the chakra systems, chakras, but I don't know if it's worthy. I don't know. It's what I did. Uh, I don't know if it's. I'll, I'll just dig it out. This is what I did at school. At the school, this is on my Gmail. And it might be worth just t going into this a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. So there's the Muladha chakra, the, the root one. And the lamb. So obviously, uh, why is it a flower like that? Why are they different flowers? I haven't got into that. So this is a survival one, isn't it? Stability, security. Yep. So this is Sexual. what gra this is what grounds you basically. And mm -hmm. th this one connects to the one under your feet, which you call it is it solar one, not solar one. The Earth Star. Earth Star. So it connects to Earth Star, and, and obviously. I haven't got it with me because I've shown it you now and again. It's that tiger. Tiger is the one that ground is is used to ground you there. 
Uh, anything on that? I don't think so. Fear um, and anxiety, unstable. Mm -hmm. The ones in the body we're focusing on now, uh, yeah. there, as you beautifully mentioned, there are many, many more. Mm. Uh, um, the way I see these, it would be like the trunk of a tree or a tube of light. Yeah. Above the head, above the crown, we've got the soul star. Beneath the feet, we've got the earth star. Yeah. Uh, so the one above, uh, all the rest of the centers, I just see as branches connecting mm. to other shards of the infinite soul. Uh, the one under the feet then is our root system, uh, filling the entire earth, uh, connecting to the natural energetic grid of the planet. So there's a symbiotic exchange of energy. We anchor our light into the planet, healing her. And then mm -hmm. through our roots, we pull up healing and blessing from the planet. Uh, so severance in that is very catastrophic. So we're now focusing on the main energy centers inside the body. Mm. And so root uh, survival, sexuality. Mm -hmm. now, obviously, if you've got prudent problems in the root, a red crystal, you put it in your pocket. Just leave it in your pocket. You don't even have to. Yeah. So anything else on that? I don't think there's much on that. Actually. Yep, I think most, pe most people know about the root. The, the normal chakras so this this chakra if you if it's balanced if it's overbalanced yeah it can go out it's out of line if it's underbalanced it can on on the balance because you've already said unstable lower self esteem and it, yeah mm -hmm. but you can actually have overbalanced as well uh should we go on the next one yes, please yeah, uh, I hope to get it as a sacral. Mm -hmm. And remember all these uh, yam. It's worth knowing the uh, mantras for each one. The function, expression, sexuality, emotions, relation, sensual pleasure, creative fantasy. Uh, it talks. It can you can be under and you can be over. You can be over it's over sex drive. You can be under. So you've just got to make sure it's all balanced. And what are, what orange crystal for that one? Hmm. I don't yeah. know an orange one. <laughs> My mind's gone. Uh, well, you can you can um, you can find these different yeah. chemicals give different colors, and then between the root and the sacral, we've got the tanden uh, mm. or lower dantian. Um, three major dantians in the body: third eye, heart. And the lower one, these are used mm. in work in martial arts. So they're like capacitors or batteries. You can charge them up and then direct the accumulated light, life force uh, on, on a certain part of the body. So a blade will not cut because you're mm. exerting equal and opposite force through this or through Reiki or let's say Qigong uh, energetic modalities. That's the storehouse we tap into. Uh, I was going. I was going to say the the root one is where a lot of your problems get stored. A lot of dense it needs, and it, the best way of that is breath work. And um, if you can really breathe deep, what you're letting out is the dense energy. So you really breathe until you can't breathe anymore, and then you gotta just throw it all out. Yeah. So yeah, we agree a lot, don't we? Oh yes. Let's have a look. The next one. Uh, Solar, yeah. Solar? Yep. There you go. Ram. Okay, interesting. And then the Hindu god Rama, <laughs> the action, the warrior. And so, yeah. yes, this one, your self-esteem, uh, endurance, uh, again, balanced and unbalanced. So, hey, beautiful. Mm. Um Meaning, money, shining jewel, beautiful. If you're very positive, you you shouldn't even touch all these, should you? Yeah. Well, well, um, worse things could happen. If you're really positive, you're good to go. <laughs> exactly. Heart. Oh, I'm looking for the art now. Where's the art gone? Uh, art, there you go. There you go. There is another chakra that no one mentions above the art. It's an it's a uh, Aya chakra. 
I'm not sure what that means, but I do know it's a lower, this is like the normal ch lower chakra, it's an higher chakra as well. But in our system, we've only got seven. So, so the yeah. higher, higher heart would be the thymus. Yeah. Mm um pink in color so the regular heart is green mm. um center of the chest love acceptance compassion also critically uh, consciousness um so seeing all things as conscious but then the higher heart that is unconditional love divine love yeah uh, the good stuff i i like when you do uh, your events that you when the person needs some energy you grow you turn that Heart chakra into an emerald planet and expand it. I love that. I do. I have tried that. That's good. It's a good visualization. That one. I really it, like it. Actually, it's very very yeah. effective. You um, call back the energy of love that this soul has extended to everyone and everything. That mm. that is not returned equally. So there's an imbalance there. Pulling mm. back their energy heats up the heart, makes it much much stronger. And so, yeah, that's that's a nice approach. It could be, I suppose, applied to all the chakras. Um, so I, I, I once was really angry with myself. And the anger came from my heart chakra. And that was absolutely the most powerful thing. I actually made things move with that. Ooh, and wow. uh, I'm talking about big things. Uh, it, it woke me up a bit of it. Anger doesn't have to be low density. It can be really painful, art chakra anger, and that can move move a lot of heavy stuff. It can, especially if you the anger is for yourself. Yeah, understood. So, understood. Yeah. So, wow. But I love the I love the way. What was that coming on there? <laughs> See, I'm being attacked. <laughs> oh well. And the next one, we haven't got the higher one. Uh, throat. throat, throat isn't not. Oh, where's the throat? Where's there we the throat? go. Yeah, the throat shack. A lot of times, this is because you don't tell your truth that often when it's unbalanced, and it can make physical illness, can't it? It can. You wonder why you've got a cold all the time. It's not. It's not because you've got. A, it's not an illness. It's because the body's saying you should tell your truth more. You speak out. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. I've seen that. I've seen that a lot of times. Not with me, but I've seen it. And it's lots, um, you know. lots of people when when they are punished for expressing their truth, either this life or previous lives, and then this uh, causes an injury there, mm. um, resulting in them hesitating. Do I say it? Do I not? Will it be trouble for me or not? So this is evidence of uh, injury to the throat chakra. Um, again. Yeah. Please. Yeah, the other one is if you lie as well. Yeah. Untruth. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Deception, untruth, or perversion of the truth. That mm. will in absolutely. Yeah. Well, how amazing that you mentioned this. Just going one step back, the energy of the heart, uh, acts of cruelty and uh, degeneration, they weaken the heart mm. to such a degree. Now you see people. You, you read about this in history. Uh, they murder so many that their heart basically dies. They don't feel it anymore. It, you can be fractured, don't they? A bit like uh, Harry Potter. That is true. You can fracture your, your well, soul in a way. Your heart is near enough to your soul. Your eyes might be the roots of your soul, but your heart is, uh, that's, uh, that's your being, basically. And uh, repairing that can be very difficult. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, many um, evil beings, or or let's say negative beings, uh, they don't have this energy center. Mm. The heart is is missing, or it was existent at some point and it is dead. Or, or it's like the Grinch, where it's a little tiny bit. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, restoring that requires divine intervention. Mm. So they repent, express that they are sorry, truly, call to the divine, and they can then receive an upgrade, an entire new energetic center coming in full and functional. I've seen this one. Yeah, sometimes they're given a, a, a job to do, a, a service sort of job to prove themselves, yeah. Sometimes thousands of years. Yeah. So it's not. Yeah. this is not granted willy-nilly. 
They really have to prove that they are sincere. I saw one of these recently. It is one of the most beautiful things I have ever had the honor of seeing. Uh, thousands of years of trying to break out of darkness, facing opposition. Finally, I saw that glorious moment where they got the thumbs up, a new heart came in. <laughs> Kicked online and I just broke into tears. Oh my God, oh my God, what a beautiful thing. Mm. I, I, I think I've told you this when I was uh, in Glossop and me and the two of us, had, it was uh, the teenagers were getting attacked by uh, an evil being, evil grounded being. And, I, and what we did, we trapped the being that was 500 years old in a vortex. You know, we went in a circle and we trapped and we started sending energy, light, taking off the layers of darkness to destroy it basically and all of a sudden I saw a bit of light just that little bit of light and I was thinking, I had to tell you let's stop here, no no, no this is wrong it's something, something we're not seeing here and um, we actually because the spirit now was uh, tired worn out knew we were powerful and we could kill it basically if we want to I, I said what, what's happened and this is a being that got hung as a witch in the in the medieval times the daughter was left to die 12 year old and she was revengeful on the 12 teenagers of that house and i asked i actually asked michael which i don't often ask i asked michael can you ask i actually another spirit is it gear ariel for the daughter that was left to die no one because she was a witch no one would look after the daughter because they would be classed as a witch and the daughter died of starvation. And all of a sudden it created this being that was very angry, very bad. That all of a sudden got uh, taken in by demons and stuff like that. And once the daughter came in, came back, all the dark came off. It was, a be it was really beautiful to see. And a light shone. And that was, to see that was unbelievable. I, I, I'm nearly having tears seeing doing that. I but all of a sudden, it wasn't killing a dark, demonic, dark spirit. It was saving a spirit that we thought was dark. So that was good. These ones associated with the heart are the most touchy-feely ones ever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Just to, it's give, giving me a little bit of emotion. That. But, but to see it, it was, it was, it was beautiful. It was... And she went to the light so easily, so easily. All the dark just, just fell off. It just completely fell off. Just shows you what love can do. Love can do a... Absolutely, completely. Unbelievable. So we're going to... Third, third eye. eye. Third eye. Yep. Uh, we, we know what it is. <laughs> Let's see if I can find That's third it, eye. You're on. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Bang on. Third eye. I'm glad we're going through these because it gets reminders, doesn't it? We, we can get... Oh, yeah. I have a, a pyramid that's not here now, uh, but I stick on my third eye. It's the one I showed mm -hmm. you, the round ball, and it amplifies my remote viewing. It amplifies everything. So them pyramids can be quite quite a tool if you use them correctly. I didn't know. I, I just put it on my third eye just for just try it, see what happens. I, I put me... Uh, Put me alien skull, mm -hmm. and I can talk to the uh, Andromeda beings using that one. Oh, just yeah. Straight there when you meditation. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what's the crystal you just had in your hand? Is it rose quartz or yeah. apophyllite? Rose. rose quartz. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, these these crystals are amazing allies. Yeah. Uh, and then something underneath, so between throat and third eye, we've got uh, another important center: the Jade Gate or Godhead, base of the skull, top of the spinal column. Uh, is, this... is, that, is that the input where the psyche comes in? The correct. Yeah, correct. Was, so yeah. uh, information through the crown is um, it, a conversation. Mm. Uh, information is translated line by line by the conscious mind. And this mm. is different. It is compiled information. So an entire library. Um, life and death of an alien race and the merit of their story. It all comes in in one big go. Mm. Uh, also communication uh, by other aspects of self-guides and ascended masters uh, and so I, I've got a little bell there. I've told you this when I was... Yeah. I, get, I used to get attacked by demons a lot. And a little bell goes off 
if anything dark energy is in the room and it wakes me up it actually wakes me up and it's like a it's like a it's like it's like that bell you know that bell a proper, yep. proper church bell oh, and yeah. it's amazing amazing but it took me a few years i thought i've got to create something to stop all these attacks and that was the thing i created yeah so and it works i think i am last time i got attacked was t- eight years ago and it i'd left i'd negotiated with the spirit in the house to say stop infiltrating the people in there and i'll let i'll let you live your 4d life or whatever you're doing and it went for me that night and the bell went so i started gra- I, I let him in as i let him in i started grounding it to the earth and he was panicking he was ah it was frightful and just at the end i told him to go and f off don't come back and don't don't disrupt that family <laughs> i just let him go <laughs> but uh I don't know what he was doing trying to get inside. There you go. Yeah. Curiosity killed the demon. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, so with, yeah. with our third eye, um, another function that is frequently neglected or omitted, um, it's the function of projection. So not just information coming in, but most importantly, uh, our projection or manifestation of form into reality. And so mm, the same way a cinema projector will uh, create forms on a screen, this is then giving out something we have created in the mental plane. And then matter, energy, and consciousness follow this pattern and manifestation occurs. Mm, Another thing you can do with the third eye, envisage that your consciousness is going into the center. Uh, You look around, you see the boundaries of this beautiful purple let's say, ball or sphere, from in that place, you can communicate with every cell in the body or every individual organ and give it clear instructions and the body understands at that at that state. So it's uh, bringing in info, but also projecting info. So it's our it's our creation mechanism. I'd, I'd say that's so interesting because I used to I think I used to think I used to program my brain. That's why I, I look a lot younger than I do, because I learned at a young age that I could look 25 at 15 so I could go in a pub. And then the older I got, I thought, I've got to like de- de-accelerate this. And also, I think me, me, yeah, my brother said at 12, I'd be bald at 18. And I thought, well, I've got to do something with that. And it's programming the brain. Now you're saying it could be the third eye that's doing the information there. Precisely. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is, um, again, in so much info about these centers and well they're not just one thing to do one thing um they're amazing energy uh, let's say boundaries so another thing i would like to add here they're not discrete and separate let's say balls uh, the the human is a continuum of consciousness mm. and so you may use a combination of for example heart and throat uh, truth and love, loving truth or truthful love, mm-hmm. and then other combinations. So bring in solar and th- and and throat. So it is, let's say, confident truth, or forceful truth. You bring in a little bit of the heart; it becomes a uh, confident, loving truth, and so on. So these are absolutely intertwined into each other. Uh, that mm-hmm. separate, discrete approach. Uh, the modeling is not coming from humanity. It is the modeling um, created by the pirate species, especially. So it's like a butcher approaching a carcass. Uh, you cut this part off. This is the sterloin and this is this and this is that. They, that's how they observe us. Oh, yum, yum at, the, at this point of the head. Yum, yum at this point of the throat. Uh, but essentially, we are infinite Everything that is created by the beloved divine is infinite. Like the colors of the rainbow, there are distinct colors, but there's no discrete boundary. It's one continuous spectrum. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I'll add this in too. The, the other thing around the, around all these all these minor chakras we talked to before is some people say there's 140. I think there's hundreds of them. There's hundreds of the even minor ones. And, the micro ones is even thousands of them, probably 80,000, but all supplied by the NADI system of energy field, all supplied. So sometimes it can be the minor ones that are affecting these as well. Yeah. 
Should we go and on so to the... towards... Yes, please. And then towards... Oh, hold on. I was going to say something else. I was going to say something else. Now. The, the thing with the third eye, you must have heard it yourself. I want my third eye opening. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. The reason why you want the third eye opening is you're looking for it too much. That's the thing. You look for something too much and you don't get it. You've, you've got to do the work to get it. And the work is meditation. Uh, spiritual work, grounding, all this work. And you could even ask the universe, can you just open me third eye? But you don't have to look for it and ask me or you, can you open me third eye? You'll have loads of layers to open that. We could open a couple of layers. You need to do the work as well. Yeah. And uh, trying to get people to say that. I, I, want, I was at the sound healing and I got a message off my guides. But the guy crossed the way has asked for his third eye opening to open, and you can do it. I thought, okay. So I went up. I said, you just asked for your third eye. He says, I've just asked my guides. I said, well, they've asked me that I can open your third eye. And I went to his third eye, and I opened it there and then. There and then. And he has amazing journeys now. And he was just ready for it. His layer, he had one layer left, and I was the one to take his layer. He asked for it. Flip they asked the me, and I pulled the switch. Yeah. But it was quite amazing how... He says, I've only just asked him two minutes ago. I said, yeah, they just asked me. <laughs> um, well, yeah. not, not all spirit guides are created equally. Apparently, he had the good stuff, the good ones, you know. <laughs> the ones stuff. that listened, the ones that weren't, uh, yeah. they weren't, ones that weren't having a cup of tea at the time. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, so let's see. Uh, there's only one left, the crown. Is that the crown? Uh -huh. um, uh, crown eye. bottom of your screen. There we go. Why, why have I put it there? There you go. It, this is to me the connection to the to, to source, and this is this is your start. Yeah. This is the enlightenment. The color says violet, but the best crystal I always think is rock crystal. I always think rock crystal is the crown, but some think it's violet or well, even well, ro well, rosemary. Even this is a bit. Correct quartz, Crown, yeah. even clear quartz could be, or diamond even, uh, but um, diamonds are overrated. Mm. They don't have the um, capability of quartz. Most certainly they're lacking the piezoelectric uh, effect and the programmability. I, I, I think the diamond, because people like it for the monetary thing, I think it's devalued, it's spiritual. I think it has done could that. Be, yeah. Could be. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's where all the woo-woo happens. Mm. Um, once you uh, activate and clear this center and everything beneath it, you've achieved the state of Zen. And what that essentially means, you understand that the human is more than just the physical, <laughs> that you have many different um, aspects of intelligence, and then you will no longer burden the brain with what it was never designed to do, answering the qu questions about the infinite cosmos. You can now download from your infinite soul and the beloved divine. It gives you a, a state of incredible peace. You're, you're good. The reason for questions go away. You know you can get the answers whenever you need, so you just chill. Mm. Uh, that's why these dudes are so bloody chilled. Uh, so, yeah. Um, crown... Amazing center, but so much interference with the crown. Mm. The, the input of light, boundary between physical and non-physical, a significant effort is taken to uh, impede or block the light flow coming in from the crown. So many different types of helmets, shields, spears, you name it, I've come across it. And then, of course, uh, the AI that are implanted into the crown, um, they're like, um, so imagine you've left, left your beautiful house and gone on vacation uh, and you come back, you've got squatters on crack, having a massive <laughs> part. This is what these guys do to your peace of mind. Mm. Uh, so yeah, the crown is probably mm, in the most interfered with, with parasites it's, and it's, negatives. It's, yeah, it's the most dangerous thing to take on. I, I've. I mentioned I, I, I merged with uh, so with a friend of ours, which you know, 
And I wanted to see why she was blocked so much because I've tried to unblock her and I couldn't. And when I went into, I shouldn't have done it. You don't ever merge with someone. It's the most dangerous thing you could ever do in your life. But I thought, I'm going to go for it and see what happens. And as I was going into uh, into her, I was coming out of a clone. They'd cloned her at birth. I was coming out of this clone and it was like the Matrix, you know, the film. I was coming out of this clone, looked around and I had AI bots. I had this clone here and I had this massive, what I believe is a leader of the AI all around me. And I, I was on my own. I didn't even have my team. And I brought my team in and it became uh, it became a, a battleground, if you get what I mean. And the thing is, that's that was from the crown. That, that they was they were they were siphoning so much energy using a clone being of a so they a clone being has got her essence it's got her energy it's been from birth and they can take over someone's body with that because it just too because they've come through the normal way of being birthed here yeah so I just wanted to say that all it's a, so it if, was a weird day it was a weird day well if the if the let's say, technological connection to the original crown is severed, and then the connection is severed. And mm -hmm. so there's a difference being that's a copy. Well, we wish it well. May it connect to source and continue evolving. Uh, but yeah, so many, like, very strange things occur as a result of interfering with the crown. Mostly, mm -hmm. it, this is how humanity is kept in its state of slumber. Um, mm. well, the, the other thing that we've got to think about is the how to heal the brain on supplements. And the one I have, I have lion's mane. And mm -hmm. what people don't realize, when they're having fruit, that fruit will have mold on it. Most fruit have mold on it. Mm -hmm. And that mold ends up around the brain. And that's what I believe... Uh, what is it? This is for entertainment purposes only. I believe it goes onto the brain and at what creates dementia. It starts eating into the brain. So if you want a detox, detox the mold in, in your in in because your crown is affected by what your brain into. It's got to be yep. uh, a good cleanser, definitely. Agreed. And you, you start thinking so quick. <laughs> Rapid. Mm. Yeah. So the cleansing of the energetic scaffolding of the physical body absolutely leads mm. to noticeable um, and undeniable improvements in functionality and health. Yeah, definitely. So, so that I have, I've got something else. I'll, I'll oh, close it. Yes, is it I'll, I'll show you this. This is you're going to enjoy this part. Actually, I'm just going to get it up, go find it. I've got it ready. I know I've got it ready there. There you go. Okay. Still there. Just getting rid of all my chats on Facebook. There you go. Right. <laughs> this is where we come into my world. <laughs> right. I've this is I've got another list. Each chakra system, right? You've all heard of the seven. Well, this goes uh, to the 15. This is still, yeah, one to seven is one to 11. No, one to 13. Uh, one to eight is above us. Eight, nine, 10. 11 is where we can connect to our Kashic records. We can get a blueprint. It's like a room in there. So the 11th is great for, uh, getting the knowledge to get rid of something in our blood or something in our physical that we want to get the original blueprint. When you cross the paths into 4D, if you notice each chakra system is 7, 4D is... So when I'm going into 11, I'm going into 4D really, but it's the spiritual end. Uh, you use the pillars of light. To cross dimensions, you use the pillars of light. And I would recommend only do this... Uh, four or five D at first. Now the one I do like is plat platinum and ray there. That is Christ consciousness. If you bring that in, you do a lot of magical stuff. That's the 22nd chakra. But 
one sec. Uh, magnify. It goes all the way up to up to source. There's uh, another one that's good if you can start rising is thirty gold. Yeah, gold energy from seven D. That's pretty good. Uh, you can then go all the way. So there's a chakra system. These colors, by the way, I know they're not quite right. After six D, they're not. You can, they're not the colors that we've got here. If you get what I mean, it. They're not the same. There's no such color, so they've had to do the nearest color. That's why it's all gold there. That's why it's all silver there because it's different than what what we we um, our eyes cannot see that color. So, if I'm need some energy into a room, any power, I meditate. I cross this boundary with uh, the pillars of light. I go into that. Then the pillars of light. Then and I've got into the twenty second chakra. And then I, I uh, do what the parasites do to us. I collect the energy <laughs> and I bring it down to earth. Now, sometimes you can go to the celestials in 15 or 18D and you can create like a vortex field with the dragons. Dragons are there. And then you can bring it into, say, the Pacific Ocean to reprogram the water. Yeah. Have you got any questions on the Aya Chakras? Um, no, I, I, I think that at this point, um, the boundaries between them, the definitions of each, this is becoming mm, advanced. Yeah. And so for the purpose of today's discussion, um, let's just say that the human is not just the physical, that ultimately we can reconnect all the way back to the beloved source Mm -hmm. And oh boy, oh boy, is it a beautiful journey, retracing our steps back home. Mm -hmm. And connection to source is the end goal of every spiritual seeker. And once you're back home, beautiful things occur. You become the source of blessings and divine light upon your reality to, mm -hmm. towards everyone who has the honor of being in your presence. And so, again, this is not something that happens willy-nilly. Nobody is better or worse. It is a journey that requires effort, investment of time, energy, and consciousness. And mm. through this, we all can find our way back. Mm. I, I was going to say that, yeah, I agree. Don't go to the very high chakras at the beginning. You can test 4D and 5D, because what happens is your bones start becoming crystalline and you start getting a lot of pain. You really do get a lot of pain. So it's a slow process. Uh, it's took me 50 years to get to, to source. But I've still got a job here, so I'm not allowed oh, yeah. to stay. <laughs> it seems the, the physical body uh, is the slowest part of this process. Mm. And it do require some time for the body to adjust itself to, let's say, a new level of consciousness and available energies. If this is done too quickly, it could cause pain or it could cause harm. So mm. slow and steady wins the race. It's a lifelong journey. Sometimes we've been on this journey for many lives, and this is our graduating lifetime. So don't it, don't rush. Yeah, it's good to... Uh, I've been trying to open the 12 DNA strands for a long time, and mm -hmm. I'm on about five or six yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> that could be another week, can it? Uh <laughs> If we were 12, we'd be like God's here, and uh, we'd be able to turn the planet into paradise, into heaven, like it should be. But uh, it, I think I'm on five or six now. If you have got psychic ability, you're above two. Everyone's on two when they're born. But if you've got some sort of intuition, some sort of psychic ability or powers or anything like that, you start going up, up, the, up, the, up the chain. You start opening it. Basically, it's, we've been locked in of our own ability. Yeah. Do you agree with that one? Pretty much. Yeah. Well, and that's the whole purpose. You know, essentially coming down into human bodies, um, forgetting uh, who and what we are, uh, playing this uh, exciting game of dumbass, where our eyes are closed, we're handcuffed, and our feet are bound, and we're rolling around in the dirt like bloody idiots. And yeah, of course, parasites are going to come or pirates are going to come. Ooh, look at what this incredible light being has. <laughs> I'm having some of that. 
and eventually taking off the blindfold, unplugging our ears, unbinding ourselves, standing upright and shaking off the dust and say, oh, well, it turns out I'm a spark from the beloved source of all things. Now, where did those pirates go? Let, let's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing we didn't go on, we, we can get attachments like uh, lost souls in our, they mainly go on our, uh, where our Kundalini is or where our energy field. And it, it just shows you, you, you're shining very brightly for them and you just got to help them on, help them on the way. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Another subject. What a, so you, what a wonderful mm -hmm. world. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh. So, um, this was this was uh, unexpected, enjoyable. I, I hope that um, our esteemed audience find it to be the same. Um, mm -hmm. And by the way, we would love for you to ask us questions. So mm -hmm. from now till next week, uh, this is um, here in the UK. It's the third of November. Next one, hopefully everything goes well. The 10th of November, we'll have another show. So in the next week, please write to us. If you have any questions that you'd like us to discuss, please let it, us know. There was a question uh, of Libby. I'm not 100%. Well, we'll answer it next week. But she said, uh, I was, a, I don't know if it's a mum and dad or grandmom or granddad. I'll have to check it. Perhaps okay. I'll check it. Okay. And some of these questions is going into the spirit realm and trying to locate a question. Really, the questions on spirituality, aren't they? Yeah. But we, we might better answer it. Uh, just one second. You don't mind. Uh, the other thing I was saying, that frequency video is out. Yeah, nine, 900 frequencies. <laughs> and the, uh, the way I see it is a yeah. river of light. Just it washes through very, very sublime. I love that energy. It's beautiful. So if you'd please um, put the link uh, below this video for our wonderful audience uh, to be able to check it out. I will. Uh, when we first did it, it was 27 hours long. And they, they, they said there was a copyright law. Now, all these hidden frequencies, these hidden things are underneath it. So you can't listen. But YouTube found that one. So we redid it, did it, and it wouldn't do it because it was too long, yet it did it first time. So it's now it's nine hours long. You don't have to listen to all, but it's good in the background. And uh, it does healing as well. Uh, let's see if I've got this question. Um, it's one of them. I won't get the question, will I? I'm not seeing it. Just give me a sec. Um, oh, can, we can do it next week, can't we? Let's do it next week. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. Yeah. So we'll answer. Just give me a sec. Right. I know where it is now. My brain's just working. That's because I'm on lines, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, asked, I asked on my Facebook if anyone's got any questions, and someone said it, so I know exactly where it is. Just give me uh, if I can't do it a sec, I know you're you're probably busy, aren't you? I'm thinking uh, I won't get it. I won't get it. Guess what? Anyway. Right, we'll answer it maybe next week. But it's a question. Try and ask questions about spirituality, anything spirituality. Asking questions for spirits on the other side can be quite difficult. Uh, sometimes it's can't even find them because they've moved on, aren't they? But yeah, they've, uh, they've, they've got stuff to do. Yeah, yeah they will they work they're, to do. Yeah, they they don't uh, they don't uh, they don't really care much for the lower realms. They're having their next level of healing and uh, yeah, planning the next incarnation. So it's yeah. not always easy. Yeah. Okay. Thank. I've really enjoyed today. That's Me been, too. It's you learn. Sweet. You do learn so much on these. We we learn each off each other, which is great. That's, our primary motivation, the excellent conversation, you know, in, in such a refreshing way. There's there's harmony and a mutual support in the experiences. Mm. It gives immense hope that independently we've tapped into the same stream of divine light. And this is available mm. to everyone. And our experiences a lot of times are unique. And that's what we've got to tell our, our story, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you.
Well, thank you so much, my esteemed friend. And ladies and gentlemen, we love you. You're should, awesome. Should we end it with a sound healing bowl or should we just end oh, it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Of course, our sound healing bowl. <laughs> and so, and this, we'll think of the chakras, yeah? Tune in. You read my mind. Yes, this time setting yeah. the intention to uh, purify, heal and remove any technology or parasites that is taking your energy and restoring you to perfect energetic condition. Yeah. Good. That sounds good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> I think we we offed some parasites in these few moments. <laughs> I, I could hear them going, oh, Good job. No. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, have a wonderful evening, and we'll, and you, we'll be back. Blessings to everyone. Thank Take you. care. Bye, All the very bye. best. Take care bye. of yourself. Bye for bye. now. Bye. 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 bye.